Oh, good job. Please be seated. Um, Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. The floor is now given to the prosecution to put questions to the la civil party. Pour son interrogatoire de la partie civile. Chandrares May. Thank you, Mr. Chandra President. Merci, good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon, Madame everyone. And good afternoon, Mr. Sun Suwandi. My name is Chandrares May, the National Co Deputy Co Prosecutor of this Khmerus Tribunal. I'm going to ask you some questions on behalf of the prosecution. Je vais vous poser quelques questions au nom du bureau des coprocureurs. Could you tell the court the occupation of your father before the 17 April 1975? Pouvez-vous nous dire quelle était la profession de votre père avant avril 1975? Answer. Réponse. He was a military officer il était militaire of the lunar regime sous and he un officier worked with the sun sun at the time sous le régime de l'onol il travaillait avec sun sun à l'époque question what was his rank and which Et unit was he attached to aucun de ces unités oh. Au sein de quelle unité? Answer. To my understanding, he was a captain. Je crois comprendre qu'il était capitaine. Question. Question. What did your mother earn her living prior to 17 April 1975? Et comment votre mère gagnait-elle sa vie avant avril 1975? Answer. Réponse. She was a merchant. Elle était marchande. In fact, uh, she sold grocery just at a store day, uh, in front of the house. En fait, elle vendait des uh, fruits et légumes. Dans un Question. This morning, you confirmed Question. that one of your uncles named Dean Gaik, he was a soldier of the Khmer Republic regime, that is, of the Lunar regime. regime de what rank was he at the time, and which unit il was he attached to? Unité. Answer. Réponse. Dean Gaik, my uncle, Dean Cut, mon oncle. Was a lieutenant colonel. Était lieutenant colonel. He stationed at Slay Pagoda as part of the 47th unit, that is the Mike Fork Force. And another uncle, Tai Long, he was a colonel. Tai Long était colonel. And they. Both in the same unit, that Ils is Division 47. They division. were of the Kampuchea Kram origin, led by Seung Ngoc Thang. Et ils étaient sous les ordres de Seung Ngoc Thang. Question: When you bought it? Question: A boat in Kampong Cham, I don't know, but was your uncle on the boat as well? Lorsque vous étiez Answer. sur le bateau, he was uh, probably on the boat as uh, he was il était sans doute sur le bateau, a military officer and un officier his subordinates and him shall be there on the Et boat as there was a war at Don Le, but in Kampong Cham. And after they reached an agreement, then they boarded the boat for the journey to Kampuchea Kram. There were probably hundreds of them on the boat. However, the boat was 
Shelt and Mais le, sank. Nobu est atterri sur le bateau et le bateau a coulé. All died. Tout le monde est mort. Question. When that boat was sailed at the late but et in Kapung Cham, quand le bateau a été coulé à Tonle Bac à Kapung Cham, y avait-il des soldats de l'Onol sur le bateau Or were there several of them or just the civilians on the boat Des militaires ou n'étaient-ce que des civils qui étaient à bord And de ce bateau Answer. Réponse. I did not witness it with my own eyes as I was in Phnom Penh to but uh, it was likely the case. Je n'ai pas été témoin de l'événement Question. Question. When you were evacuated from Phnom Penh Et lorsque vous avez été évacué de Khmer Rouge, par soldiers, la Khmer Rouge, uh, était-il possible de refuser de partir Answer. People could not refuse to leave if, as uh, réponse. the soldiers were armed, and if someone refused to leave, their person would be shot dead at the house. Si refuser, and it happened uh, devant sa maison. at uh, the nearby houses, uh, near my house. Une maison non loin de la uh, some houses had the rocket launchers fired Et in through, and by witnessing that, I decided to leave. Les soldats ont tiré une roquette sur la maison. Et c'est quand j'ai vu cela que j'ai décidé de partir. So, I packed uh, some rice and I went along with the other people. J'ai donc décidé de préparer mes effets et de partir avec les autres. If I were to leave, uh, I would probably die. They were cruel and mean. J'aurais pu mourir. Ils étaient cruels et méchants. Question. When people were Being, being evacuated Question. and while they were on the road Mais alors did the Khmer Rouge actually have their people to monitor or to track down Khmer the people les les citadins à retrouver while they were traveling on route des gens and did they threaten the people chemin, while they were traveling les gens alors answer marché. Réponse. During the evacuation, we were actually forced to move quickly. On nous forçait à marcher uh, rapidement. Americans would uh, Car, uh, drop les Américains bombs from their B-52 planes. La ville avec leur B-52. And that Pompeo would be smashed to bits by a nuclear bomb. Et que Phnom Penh and they were forced, and we were forced to move uh, to go and uh, following our Anka instruction, and that we would meet with Anka, but we didn't know who Anka was. We could not nous spend pas qui the money that we had. Nous ne pas que nous and along the road, we tried to battle for things. Essayer d'échanger des effets contre d'autres. We exchange the clothing that we have nous or the gold that we have for food. que nous avions dans, dans notre possession contre de la nourriture. Question. When people were evacuated from Phnom Penh by the Khmer Rouge, quand les gens ont été évacués de Phnom Penh Did the Khmer Rouge give instruction to the people? Les Khmer Rouge ont-ils donné des ordres ou des instructions? Or did they assist uh, the pregnant gens? women, the children, aidé les femmes enceintes, the disabled les enfants, people, les personnes handicapées? or those who could not have walked, ou for instance, the elderly? Marcher, comme par exemple, did they have any measures, such measures during the evacuation? evacuation? Answer. Réponse. During the evacuation, pendant l'évacuation, initially there were some people who had the medical knowledge would assist uh, each other. Qui des connaissances en matière médicale But when we were at the Anka places, there was no nous dans medicine Anka, given. Il n'y avait pas de médicament. And what we were given there were only those repeated drop of pills. Nous n'avons reçu que ces médicaments en crotte de lapin. 
and they use coconut juice uh, as the aussi du IV jus fluid. de noix de coco pour les en, en guise de sérum. Question when do you reach your last destination in Sa'ang district? Lorsque vous êtes arrivé à votre destination finale dans le district de Sa'ang during your living there did you witness any strategy that happened to the people in the Sa'ang district? And did you meet any of the Khmerus leadership uh, in Sa'ang district? And if so, what did they tell you? des dirigeants à Sa'ang et le cas échéant, que vous ont-ils dit? Answer. Réponse. At the place the way I lived, I did not Là où meet any of them as I went to work outside and I came only back into the village to get my gruel ration. que pour recevoir ma part de soupe de riz. And if people were requested to go and work in the farm sometimes it Et meant that uh, they would not survive that they would be killed ceux qui étaient envoyés à travailler dans la ferme ça signifiait qu'ils ne survivraient pas et qu'ils allaient être pits. tués on a demandé à certains même and de creuser leur propre killed. tombe et ensuite ils ont été tués I refer to those, uh, je fais people. ici référence à, à ces Khmer Krom and they were walking lines Lined et, on, by line. et on les a fait marcher en file indienne. Ça s'est produit vers 18 so ou 19 heures. Not many could that. Donc il n'y avait pas beaucoup de gens qui pouvaient en être témoins. Thank you, Mr. Sun Sovandé. Yes, Merci, Monsieur Sun Sovandé. Comme ask you le more temps nous manque, je ne vous poserai que deux Can autres you tell questions. The court why you had to flee from Cambodia and uh, went to Vietnam in late 1978? Answer. Réponse. As I thought that one day it would be my turn to Bien, be killed, à l'époque, les beaux étaient being killed yeah. every day. Le, so le peuple était tué tous les jours. Be spared, and we were only nous croyions que nous ne pourrions jamais être épargnés et nous attendions le jour où nous serions tués. We decided to swim across the river to seek help from Vietnam side. And yes, upon arriving in Vietnam, some Vietnamese fishermen actually assisted us. Pêcheurs vietnamiens nous ont aidés. And they were actually uh, spies for the Vietnamese. Et ils étaient en fait des espions à la sonde des Vietnamiens. Ils ont ensuite envoyé des embarcations plus larges pour venir, that, uh, pour nous venir en secours. Et on dit que le groupe Bop killed the Khmer people, and for that reason de we would seek a, les Khmer, a refuge in their land. Et que nous pouvions obtenir l'asile chez eux. And at that time, they could also witness how skinny we were. Et ils ont bien vu à quel point nous étions maigres. And we were actually shocked to see. Uh, their country to see everything was kind of no normal with the market, but when we looked back, it was it was a despair and hopelessness. Uh, alors que chez nous, c'était, il n'y avait rien d'autre que le désespoir. We did not have any freedom to do anything. We could not even walk across from one side of the street to the other. Côté de la route à we were only we were confined to only travel between where we stay and where we worked. Nous it was a prison without walls. Là où nous couchions et là où nous travaillions, c'était une prison sans mur. Question. Du, based on the document, Question. you left Cambodia in 1977, and upon your arrival, you would Et enjoy your freedom of speech, your freedom to travel, which was contrary to the situation back in the Democratic Cambodia Democratic. Did you think the Cambodian people living in Cambodia? Cambodia at that time had the same right and freedom as you had in, in Vietnam. Cambodians à l'époque jouissaient des mêmes droits que vous. You were the one who experienced the situation itself. Could you tell the court? Personnellement, pouvez-vous dire à la chambre 
ce qu'il en est. And so, réponse. People were deprived of les gens their ont été privés de leur liberté. I could not say about the, the best people Je ne saurais dire about the, themselves, ce but for the evacuees like myself, mais ceux qui ont été there was no freedom whatsoever. Il n'y avait aucune We were confined between the place we worked and the Il place we stayed. Là où vous dormiez et là où vous travaillez. And sometimes we stole a potato and even nous we que would not be able to, to eat it and allow people to saw us eating. Otherwise, we would be accused of betraying the collective. Accusé d'avoir trahi la collectivité. And Another instance, sometimes we try to put uh, extra Et leaves, parfois, exemple, tree leaves into the watery uh, gruel as a, a supplement, la but we would not allow to do that, even for the Janga Khmerus people, the 13 or the 14 people, they would even kick uh, the bowl that we ate. Même But les upon uh, arriving in Vietnam, the situation was uh, contrasting. There was a market, and at that Vietnam, time, I, I actually consumed three, three bowls of noodles at one noodles time. Une fois. And when I look back, it was so pitiful for the situation in Cambodia situation and for the people who were forced to work pathétique. and they knew only nothing but working and there was no market, nothing at all. Il avait pas de marché, il avait rien. And that was extremely opposite of the initial liberation tout à fait le contraire after the liberation le jour de la we applauded le jour de la we were so happy we saw the nous peace would arrive heureux, nous croyons que la paix était enfin but arrivée. it was the opposite Mais le contraire qui nous attendait. it seems that we were imprisoned in prison in a prison of without si nous dans une prison we were deprived of rights and were given only nous what we could de nos droits et on ne nous a donné que And they would not even allow to supplement the watery gruel with the tree leaves. I actually picked a mango and I almost lost my life uh, for that. De ma vie. I was accused that I betrayed the collective, that I picked that mango without requesting or informing the uncle. And I was blamed by this uh, young soldier who actually tracked uh, their his uh, rifle. Il avait un fusil. The situation was uh, indescribable. Thank you, Mr. Sun Sawandi. On behalf of the prosecution, I thank you very much for answering General. the questions. And Merci, Mr. Sun Sawandi. I hoped that your responses would contribute to ascertaining the truth and I wish you all the very best. Thank you, Mr. Sivandi, and Merci thank you, Mr. Mr. President. Merci, I have no further Président, questions for this civil party. President, the floor is now given to Noon Chi's defense to put questions to this civil party. You may proceed. La parole est maintenant à la défense de Noon Chi. Sonaron, Mr. President. We, the Council for Nunchi, do not have any questions for this civil party. Thank you. President, thank you. The floor is then Merci. given to Kiel Support Defense to put questions to this civil party. You may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour. Thank you, Mesdames Mr. et Messieurs les Juges. Bonjour à l'ensemble des parties. Et bonjour, Monsieur de la partie civile. And good morning. Je m'appelle uh, Antagissé et je suis uh, co-avocat international de M. Thieu Sampan et c'est à ce titre que je vais vous demander quelques précisions. Capacity, ce sera uh, bref, hein, puisque de toute façon nous n'avons pas beaucoup de temps. Uh, J'ai pu comprendre, monsieur, case, de votre déposition que lorsque le 17 avril 1975, vous avez été amené à quitter votre domicile. Vous euh, étiez euh, à ce moment-là votre domicile, vous et votre sœur. Et j'ai cru également comprendre de vos explications euh, que vos parents et euh, vos plus jeunes frères et sœurs avaient quitté le domicile euh, une semaine auparavant. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre déposition 
a week before. Did I understand your testimony correctly? <coughs> yes, the, that is correct for oui. the evacuation. C'est exact dans le cas d'évacuation. And uh, I already stated that uh, earlier today. Je l'ai déjà dit plus tôt aujourd'hui. Alors, je, je précise hein, que je vous demande ces précisions parce que euh, sur euh, votre formulaire de participation, la, le premier formulaire que vous avez euh, rempli euh, aux références suivantes euh, en anglais, ERN, c'est le document, pardon, euh, des 22 bar 2745-1 en anglais et 2745 tout seul en Khmer. Et les euh, ERN sont les suivants en anglais 00556030 et en Khmer 00556039 et ça se poursuit sur la page suivante. Euh, donc ma précision. Euh, Ma demande de précision venait euh, du fait que lorsqu'on lit cette, euh, ce premier formulaire, euh, on comprend que euh, toute la famille est partie le même jour. J'ai vu également que vous aviez fait euh, un formulaire d'information supplémentaire où vous avez, semble-t-il, rectifié. C'est le document euh, euh, en ERN en français 00909167. Et en Khmer, 00579163. Et en anglais, 00865120. Donc, dans, cette, dans ce document supplémentaire, vous indiquez, c'est euh, sur une page, en français, lorsque les Khmer Rouges sont arrivés en 1975, je vivais avec ma sœur, rue Sandakpon, à Phnom Penh. Mon problème, et c'est pour ça que je souhaite avoir vos clarifications, c'est que dans le premier formulaire dont j'ai donné les références plus tôt, vous avez décrit les faits de façon suivante, en tout cas c'est ce qui est reporté sur le formulaire, en disant que vous auriez été séparé de votre famille, vous et votre sœur, sur le long de la route. Donc ma question est de bien euh, savoir à quel moment so euh, vous avez euh, euh, été séparé de votre famille. Est-ce que c'était sur le long du chemin ou si simplement c'était parce que euh, vos parents sont partis euh, avant le 17 avril 1975 They actually had left one week earlier. Ils avaient déjà quitté une semaine plus tôt. That's why we were separated. C'est pourquoi nous étions séparés. And when I left with my elder sister and when Et we reached the Angkor place, avec, uh, then she was separated aînée, from me and she, we, she was moved to a Elle mobile a unit and I un moved mobile. to another moi, mobile unit. J'étais dans un autre groupe. Donc ma question plus précisément, c'est s'ils sont partis, euh, si vos parents sont partis une semaine avant le 17 avril, euh, euh, pourquoi sont-ils partis Et est-ce qu'ils sont partis euh, de force They were forced to leave. On les a forcés. Ou plutôt, ils, est, ils ont été forcés de partir. At that time, they were told that they, say they should leave for a short period of time until they repaired Phnom Penh. 
and then they would be allowed to return in a month or so. And for that reason, my parents asked me to stay behind at the house. But uh, later on, everybody was asked to leave. Otherwise, we would be killed by the bomb dropping by the American planes. Nous allions être tués par les bombardements américains. D'accord, mais euh, une semaine avant le 17 avril 1975, les Khmer Rouges n'étaient pas encore arrivés à Phnom Penh. Donc ma question est de savoir qui a forcé euh, vos parents à quitter leur domicile à ce moment-là. Puisque vous dites une semaine avant le moment où vous, vous avez été évacué, que votre famille, vos, votre, vos parents sont partis, quelles sont les personnes qui les ont forcés à partir à ce moment-là I did not talk about the date uh, prior to arrival of the uh, Khmer Rouge. Pas parler d'une date avant l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges. After Phnom Penh was liberated, Après people were Phnom Penh. chased to leave Phnom Penh. Les gens ont dû quitter Phnom Penh. I talk about the day that they were chased from Phnom Penh. Je parle ici du jour où ils ont été chassés and, uh, de Phnom Penh. They point that they had left uh, earlier because we Et were told that we would, be, we, we would have to go only temporarily and that we would be allowed to, uh, to come back. Mais que nous de But I cannot uh, recall for sure the date, Je me souviens pas exactement de la date that we left. I could only recall that partis. At that time, the Khmer Rouge were everywhere in Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Some of them uh, could not even drive a motorbike. Uh, they uh, they wanted to, to ride, uh, to drive it, but they fell down. Moto, they did not even uh, know how to use a pen, but they tried to put a pen in their upper stylo. pocket. Mais pourtant, ça en était mieux dans la poche de la veste. But And I saw goods and materials being transported busily in Phnom Penh at the time. À Phnom Penh. Here I refer to the period that they had already de la entered the Phnom Penh. And that people à Phnom Penh. Were to leave Phnom Penh. Et ensuite, les gens ont été chassés de Phnom Penh. I record a specific date. Euh, il y a un point que je ne comprends pas bien. Je ne me souviens pas de la date exacte. Excusez-moi, la traduction n'était pas terminée. Euh, vous ne vous souvenez Pardon pas me. de la date exacte, mais You're depuis, depuis ce matin, toutes les questions vous ont été posées euh, avec les prémices le 17 avril 1975. Est-ce que je dois comprendre maintenant que vous-même et votre sœur, vous n'auriez pas quitté Phnom Penh le 17 avril 1975, mais une semaine après C'est ça que je dois comprendre. I describe it uh, based on the events that unfolded uh, on the liberation day on the 17th of April 1975 when people were evacuated out of Phnom Penh. And when they evacuated Phnom Penh, they told us that we would leave for a short period of time. We would leave for two or three days and then we would return to uh, Phnom Penh because they need to organize uh, the city. Uh, so uh, people uh, left uh, in uh, stages. Uh, some people left earlier and others left later. And then uh, they threatened the people with the American uh, bombardment in the city, so we had to leave. Ils ont dit que les Américains allaient bombarder la ville et que donc il fallait partir. Ah, ça, j'ai bien compris, monsieur de la partie civile. Yes, Moi, mon Mr. problème, c'est dater uh, le moment où vous, However, vous êtes parti. My et issue le moment où 
vos parents sont partis. C'est vous-même qui avez dit que vos parents sont partis une semaine avant vous. Donc, de deux choses l'une, soit ils sont partis une semaine avant le 17 avril, soit c'est vous qui êtes partis une semaine après le 17 avril. Est-ce que vous comprenez ma question À partir du moment où vous dites que vous n'êtes pas partis en même temps que vos parents, ça veut dire qu'il y a eu deux moments différents. Ma question, c'est est-ce que vous êtes, vous, vous êtes resté euh, au sein de votre maison après le 17 avril 1975, après le moment de la libération Est-ce que vous êtes resté une semaine chez vous après la libération Effectivement, c'est exact. Stated in my testimony earlier, Comme I think that I have made myself uh, clear with that. I do not recall the exact date because it has been so many years uh, since then. At that time, I was uh, 17 years of age, and now I am 57 or 58 already. I have um, forgotten some of the uh, events. Uh, there were a lot of issues, a lot of events at that time, and uh, I had to. Uh, move here and there. I could not uh, remember every detail, and I have uh, separated with my relatives. I had to uh, leave from one place to another in search uh, for my relatives. I went to uh, various uh, refugee camps, but I could not find any of my relatives there, and I was uh, Uh, I was from a uh, soldier family uh, from the London regime. I wanted to be soldier myself, and uh, I, was, uh, I wanted to be in a paramilitary uh, official, and I wanted to find out why uh, we as family had to separate. I was looking for my relatives, but I could find none of them. And uh, even overseas, I did not uh, find that they were living or residing in any country. Juste pour que ce soit clair, et ce sera ma dernière question sur le, ce point pour essayer de clarifier les choses. Est-ce que je dois comprendre que vous êtes resté au sein de votre domicile familial après que les soldats euh, euh, Khmer Rouge que vous nous avez décrits ce matin euh, vous euh, aient euh, ordonné de quitter euh, la ville de Phnom Penh Est-ce que vous êtes resté malgré tout C'est ça ma question. Yes, uh, that is correct. They uh, forced us uh, to leave uh, our home, but I uh, stayed on, and then it was until they threatened us, uh, and I heard uh, gunfires as well, uh, and I uh, then had to leave. The president. Lead co lawyer for the civil La party, uh, is there any issue? Principal. You may proceed. Council Pekong. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci. I think uh, that uh, the question and answers are not uh, consistent. Uh, according to my listening to the French uh, channel, uh, during uh, the The question was whether or not he was uh, with uh, his family after the 17th of April 1975, the week after that. Uh, but uh, in Khmer, it seems that uh, uh, he, was, he and his family was uh, in Phnom Penh or not. So I think it is not uh, clear uh, in order to make it uh, Clear for everyone. I think uh, that we need to uh, clarify this because I believe that his statement uh, does not respond to the question by uh, council. So I would like to suggest that uh, council put the question again uh, for the clarity's sake. Thank you, Mr. President. Je ne sais pas 
ce qui a été traduit euh, en Khmer, mais en français, ce n'est pas du tout euh, ce que j'ai dit et ce que vous avez répété de ce que j'aurais dit en français sur le canal français ne correspond pas à ce que j'ai dit. Mais ce n'est pas grave, on va essayer de clarifier les choses. Monsieur de la partie civile, aujourd'hui, à l'audience, vous avez indiqué que vos parents et vos plus jeunes frères et sœurs sont partis de chez vous une semaine avant que vous-même ne quittiez Phnom Penh, votre domicile. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris cela à procéder par étapes. Est-ce que oui ou non, vos parents sont partis une semaine avant vous Effectivement. Et est-ce que le jour de ces départs correspond à la libération de Phnom Penh, c'est-à-dire le moment où les Khmer Rouges sont entrés dans Phnom Penh Donc vous-même étant parti une semaine après vos parents, est-ce qu'il est correct de dire que vous êtes parti une semaine après la libération de Phnom Penh Yes. Effectivement. Because they told us that we would leave uh, the city Ils for a period of time until they uh, organize, reorganize the city, uh, then we would uh, come back. So uh, I and my uh, younger donc, sister had to stay back uh, to look after tête, our house, hoping that our parents would uh, return uh, home after they have reorganized the city. But uh, in reality, uh, they uh, never returned. Uh, it was not in my. It was not only my families, but the other families in the city as well had to leave. Uh, at that time, they had no choice; otherwise, they would, their life would be in uh, in real danger. So they had to leave. Uh, and nobody uh, dare protest. Uh, those who dare protest, uh, they uh, would uh, confront the uh, gun shoot. In, Protester, risquer de se faire tirer dessus immédiatement. Entre le moment de la libération, le moment où vos parents ont quitté le domicile, et le moment où vous-même avez quitté le domicile avec votre sœur, si je comprends bien, vous êtes resté tout le temps à votre domicile Est-ce que vous êtes sorti pendant cette période or exited at any point in time. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, I had to leave. I had to leave my house. Otherwise, I would be gunned down uh, over there. They warned us that uh, if I resist uh, leaving, I would be killed uh, in Phnom Penh because Americans would bombard the city. Uh, soon, so we had no choice but uh, leave uh, the city. We had to, and then after that we heard uh, gunfires uh, from every direction of the city. I did not know what was going on, so everyone had to uh, leave the house. And as for my parents, before they left, uh, they told me that uh, if I uh, left the house, I should look si for them somewhere along the river, a river bank, but uh, I, I followed them rivière. anyway, but I could not find je them. When I uh, was being evacuated, I was only told by others that my parents had already returned to Phnom Penh to welcome prince, uh, uh, the prince at that time, but I did not know uh, where they were killed. Je ne sais pas si c'est à cause de la traduction, mais ma question euh, n'était sure pas celle-là. Ma question était de savoir si, entre le moment où vos parents sont partis, le jour de la libération, et le moment où vous, vous partez, c'est-à-dire selon vos déclarations, une semaine plus tard, est-ce que vous êtes resté en permanence chez vous ou est-ce que vous êtes sorti Had you been staying at your house the entire time or did you ever leave 
Yes, I was evacuated out of my house and then I had to look for them along the river. The president, uh, that is the question, Mr. Uh, Vandy. I clarify the question for you. Your parents left you a week earlier, and during that period, you stay in your family residence. It was only one week after your parents' departure uh, did you leave your house. So the question uh, for you is that uh, from the time when your parents left uh, your house until the day when you departed uh, your house, did you ever go out anywhere outside of your house or not? Response. After my parents' departure, le départ de mes parents, I simply walked uh, around my neighborhood. Je me suis seulement déplacé dans mon quartier. I saw people carrying vu des their gens belongings qui and leurs affaires. other stuff out of Phnom Penh. I was rather afraid at that time, so I uh, prepared peur. my stuff uh, as well, and Moi then I uh, went out looking for my parents. Mes affaires et je suis parti à la recherche de mes parents. Monsieur de la partie civile, ce que je voudrais savoir, c'est les scènes que vous avez décrites avec un, les soldats qui tiraient en l'air et qui demandaient aux gens de quitter. C'était le jour de la libération, c'est-à-dire le jour où vos parents ont quitté, ou c'était le jour où vous vous êtes parti une semaine plus tard Est-ce que les scènes que vous avez vues le 17 avril au moment du départ de vos parents, c'est la même chose que vous avez vue au moment où vous êtes parti. The Khmer Rouge soldiers threaten the people. They shoot um, the guns into the air uh, to deter people uh, to leave uh, the city. And I then decided to leave my house uh, to look for my parents. I had to look for them along the river bank. Une dernière tentative et après j'en je, aurai terminé, Monsieur one le Président. Est-ce que le jour où vous êtes parti, une semaine après le départ de vos parents, est-ce que ce jour-là, il y avait d'autres gens, d'autres gens de la population hein, de Phnom Penh qui quittaient encore la ville Ou est-ce que euh, vous étiez, vous et votre sœur, tout seul à quitter Phnom Penh ce jour-là I saw, I saw many other uh, people uh, walking or marching out of uh, the city. I saw uh, people uh, walking along uh, the street in, in lines. At that time, uh, we were uh, evacuated along National Road Number One uh, to Chmam Bo, and it was uh, very uh, crowded uh, along the road. The people uh, started to uh, leaving uh, the city. Some were walking their bicycles. Others ville, were on their motorbike. Uh, it was uh, very crowded indeed on that vélo, day along the road. Et pour que ce soit bien clair, cette scène que vous me décrivez là, c'est le jour où vous-même vous êtes parti avec votre sœur. C'est bien ça. Ah,
Yes, uh, they left all together. They had to leave. Oui, les gens ont dû partir. They had no choice. Ils they were forcibly Ils ont moved été forcés out of the city. à quitter la ville. And I, when I was uh, leaving uh, the city, Quand I saw uh, people ville, uh, walking along the street. It was very crowded. I think I have uh, answered uh, this question. Of course, uh, peop some people left earlier and others left later because tôt, uh, people told, uh, they told us that uh, we would leave the city for a period of time. Uh, so people uh, started to leave. Some left earlier and others Les left later. That was the situation plutôt, at the time. Bien, Monsieur le Président, je m'en arrêterai là de mes questions pour Monsieur de la partie civile. Je vous remercie d'avoir pris le temps de répondre, de tenter de répondre à mes questions. Le Président, merci Monsieur Sun Sovandi. Merci Monsieur Sun Sovandi. The hearing of your statement Votre of uh, suffering and harm has come to an end now, and your presence uh, before the chamber is no longer uh, needed. Et votre préjudice prend fin à présent. Votre présence n'est plus requise. Your statement of suffering Cette and harm. Déclaration as well as your testimony will Ainsi contribute to ascertaining the truth. I thank you, Mr. Sun Sovani, and I wish Merci you the best of luck. And Bonne court officer is uh, instructed to uh, coordinate with the uh, WESU unit uh, to arrange uh, the uh, transport of Mr. Sun Sovani to any direction he wishes to go or to his home. Mr. Sun Sovani, you are now released. You can go back home. Monsieur Sun Sovandi, vous êtes à présent excusé du prétoire. Le président. Le président. Court officer. Please uh, usher in the Veuillez other civil party for today's hearing, uh, TCCP 141. TCCP 141. The President, in the proceeding on hearing the testimony and the statement of suffering of this of the civil party due to the fact that uh, this particular civil party has a problem with her eyesight, uh, the Chamber wishes to advise parties and members of the public uh, that the Chamber will grant 
uh, Madame Chai Ridai, the members of uh, the staff member of the uh, TPO organization, uh, to uh, sit beside uh, this particular civil party to uh, assist her whenever there is a need of her assistance uh, when she is testifying and stating uh, her suffering and harm from the crimes. And uh, I wish to also advise uh, the uh, assistant uh, that uh, you should uh, advise Madame TC, uh, uh, civil party accordingly concerning the uh, equipments and facilities that is uh, in use in order to ensure the smooth proceedings. Good afternoon, civil party. What is your name? Response. My name is uh, Sein Sivota. Question. How old are you, Ms. Sein Sivota? Response. I am 47 years old. Question. Question. Where is your uh, place of uh, birth? À quel endroit êtes-vous né? Response. Réponse. Now I live in Takao, in Je Po village, Kirivong Takeo, district, village Takao po, province. District de po. Question. What about your uh, place of birth? Question. Et à quel endroit êtes-vous né? I was born Réponse. in uh, Takao province. Question. What is your Question. occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Response. Réponse. I uh, do not have any occupation uh, because I am uh, blind. Question. Uh, what is your parents' uh, occupation and what are uh, their names? Quelle est la profession et le nom de vos Response. My Parents. father was Prum Thorn and Mon my mother was Mao Pan. Ma mère, Mao Pan. The President, thank you, uh, Ms. Seng Siwata. Are you Merci, married? Siwata. Response. Réponse. I got married in 1982. Je me suis marié en wow. Question. 82. Uh, what is your husband's name and how many children do you have? Question. Comment s'appelle votre mari et combien d'enfants avez-vous I have four children. J'ai quatre enfants. My husband's name is Chia Thun. s'appelle Chia Thun. The president. Thank Le you. Merci. Madame Seng Siwata. In your capacity as the civil party before the proceedings. Uh, the chamber will grant you the opportunity to state uh, your suffering or harm uh, that uh, were inflicted uh, on you materially, physically, or um, psychologically, which was the direct or indirect result of the crimes committed during that period that led to you filing an application to join as the civil party uh, to the proceeding concerning the uh, crime alleged against uh, the co-accused Nguyen Chi and Kiu Sampon. And these uh, sufferings and harms uh, were the result of the uh, crimes allegedly committed during the period of the Democratic Cambodia from the 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. And your counsel uh, wishes to put questions uh, to you before you make any statement. So I would like to uh, give the floor to the counsel to put questions to you first. And then after that, uh, you may make your statement concerning your suffering as well as your harms that the chamber has already advised you. And now I hand over the floor to the counsel um, who was uh, delegated by the lead co-lawyers for the civil party to put the question uh, to you. You may proceed, counsel. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour et bonjour à toutes les personnes présentes you, dans la Mr. salle. Je suis l'avocat de Madame Seng Sivuta. Et, et comme vous l'avez dit, Madame Sivuta a des, a des problèmes de vue. Elle est en réalité non-voyante. 
Elle a été admise en tant que partie civile dans ce procès en relation avec le premier transfert forcé et les coopératives de Tramcoc. Je donne les références de ces déclarations écrites. Il y en a deux. La première, D22-3804. Et la seconde, E9-3204. To two documents, D22-3805 Madame Seng, and E9-32.2. Et, et et merci d'être là Madame avec Seng, nous aujourd'hui. Good afternoon. Je vais Thank you for being here with us poser quelques questions sur votre expérience pendant le régime des Khmer Rouges. Et vous aurez ensuite la possibilité de poser vous-même quelques questions aux accusés. To ask the accused a certain number of questions. Ma première question My concerne question vos yeux. Vous êtes non-voyante. Et vous avez déclaré dans votre constitution de parti civil avoir perdu vos yeux à cause des Khmer Rouges. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer comment cela s'est passé My eyes went blank. Was that during the three years, eight months, and twenty days Je period, I was forced to collect the excrement in a deep pit? Excrement in a deep pit. And I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. I had to carry more than twenty baskets for each turn. And I was hit with a soda carry pole. They later tied me up through a tree and they beat me up. I cried. They kept beating and then they hit my left eye. Et ils m'ont frappé sur l'œil gauche. Later on, they collected the fertilizer stored in a warehouse. I cried. I tried to collect my own. Share and put it into the warehouse. I could not do anything that late evening, so I went for my operation. Reason, actually, my left eye was very painful at the time, and the tear dropped at night. And in the morning, I could not go to work because of the pain of my in my eye. So I went to meet with my grandfather. Grandfather and the rest of the family were not in. And the rest of the family. I saw him on the stack of her and asking him to and asked him to look at my eye. And he asked me what happened. Why it became so red? And I was told that I was beaten with a rope. And he told me to. To warm it with a soaked scarf, but I could not. He could not have me for long, and he has to work with the hay. And then he asked me to carry the cow dung back to my mobile unit. At that time, I was pretty young. I was around 11 years old when that happened. And I would not know what would happen to my eyes later on. I thought that it could be treated, but there was no medical treatment. And whenever I washed my face, it was so painful. I struggled to work with. The extreme pain on my left eye, and let you all. I 
I decided to go and meet my mother, but my mother was not there. So I je suis allé carried voir ma mère, the, the pain in my eye with me. And on the liberation oui. day in 1979, I learned that Finalement, my le jour de la left eye was 1979, completely damaged pris que mon œil gauche était at the time I made, endommagé. Oh, I reunited with my parents and they noticed parents. that my Après left eye was smaller than the right eye. My mother looked at it plus petit que l'œil droit. And she ma mère l'a regardé. Knew that there's a small mon oeil et elle a spot on the iris. Une and tache that, sur uh, l'iris. She said she would uh, purchase a medicine from Vietnam Donc, and then use it on my Vietnam, eye, but uh, it didn't get oeil, any better. So it became worse each amélioré. day. And I actually attended the school in 1980. I was in class, but my tea from my left eye kept uh, flowing. Class, mais j t -t 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 and at that time, even on my right hand side, et things uh, became a blur. I could not read the, the letters on the blackboard uh, ma vue était brouillée. Je n'arrivais pas à lire les lettres. And sur le people tableau. made a joke out of me Et les gens at the time. Se de moi à They asked me, I have a one eye le monde dit, girl. Il la fille à un oeil. I was ashamed of that, so I decided to quit the school. J'avais honte. And come pourquoi to sell les small études. stuff uh, with my grandmother and in 1982 I got married. En 1982, je me suis marié. And by that time my left eye was completely gone Et and my right eye became part... worse. The tear kept uh, flowing and I could not see things properly. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, in fact, in 1980, my grandmother took me to the uh, Chinese hospital of Beijing here. And I was told that my left eye could not be recovered. So there was no hope in recovering my left Mais eye donc, and uh, unfortunately my right eye became worse aucun moyen and the treatment, uh, et mon the droit treatment empiré, it did not get any better. And as I said earlier, I got married in 1982, donc, je me suis marié en 1982. I tried my best to and to ma treat my right eye to continuously in hopes that it would get better and in 1995 it became more worse and in fact I went to the Ong Duong hospital and to get rid of my left eye and put a superficial one and I was told that the right eye could not be fully recovered as it was badly infected by the left eye Mais on m'a dit que l'on pouvait faire pour mon oeil droit qu'il était infecté à cause de l'oeil gauche. C'était déprimant. Et j'ai appris alors que je devais devenir aveugle pour le reste de mes jours. Et ce malgré les traitements, on ne s'est pas amélioré. En 2008, tous les deux ont été complètement blancs. Et en 2008, tous les deux ont été complètement blancs. Et finalement, par l'année 98, j'étais aveugle dans les deux yeux. Quand j'ai été complètement blancs, my husband left me. Aveugle, mon mari laissé. And he said I would not be able to, uh, that he could not be able to stay with me because I could not il do anything for il him. Il a dit il pouvait, so he pas went avec for moi, another woman. Rien faire pour lui, donc il quitté pour une autre femme. The situation was devastating. I could not have anyone to support me. And I had to raise my four children, including the education. Me my seventeen year son had to work Mon for the construction, and the rest construction. had to work as well. And my three year old child had to walk me every day. The situation was extremely difficult. Une situation très difficile. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, in fact, En fait, on the 17 April 1975, I was pretty young back then. I was only nine years old when we were evacuated from Phnom Penh. 
the situation was uh, terrible. Une my grandmother terrible. tied my hand to my younger sibling so that we would not get lost as there were crowded of people living in the mountains. So our hands were tied together and she walked us along the way. I saw dead people along, dead bodies along the road. Sometimes I had to walk crossing the dead bodies. Sometimes I became so exhausted and thirsty under the extreme heat. D'avoir passé par dessus des cadavres, euh, j'avais très soif, il faisait très chaud. One hand because Nous ne pouvions the manger qu'une qu seule main car l'autre main était attachée. We just kept walking and Et by nightfall, nous we reached the place where marchions. We could Finalement, rest. le soir venu, nous sommes arrivés à l'endroit où nous pouvions nous reposer. We Reach Chibampo Bridge, Nous sommes arrivés au port de Chibampo, Pagoda et Kokrobaye Pagoda. De la pagode Kokrobaye. Et puis nous sommes arrivés sur la route numéro 3. Et nous avons vu des camions de police. 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 Et nous avons vu des camions I heard my grandparents asking why we were put onto the track for going to the province because we were told that we were going to leave Phnom Penh for a period of time. But we did not dare to protest. So we bought the track and they took us to Tameke Mountain in Tameke Province in Sector 109. Not for long, as we stayed in the village, we were sent to a unit, a mobile unit in Sarkwam. Était envoyé au sein d'une unité mobile à Sorokwam. La situation était terrible là-bas. J'étais jeune et j'étais habitué. On m'a affecté à des tâches de collecte de herbes, de repiquer du riz. Et ce nuit et jour, et la nuit, je devais ensuite retourner repiquer le riz. À l'époque, je m'ai demandé à une femme et une femme Told me that we could try it. Out of my stupidity, I went into the pond. I got all the leeches. But when I came up, the lady ran away, and I, by then, learned that it was scary to have the leeches on your body. Il n'était pas une bonne idée d'avoir des censures sur le corps. In my mind, I decided not to go and work again, but I could not do that. I was forced to work. Je ne voulais pas retourner travailler, mais je n'avais pas le choix. Ma force. My ration was actually withdrawn at at some point. Et on m'a retiré mes rations. And then I decided to flee into the forest, and I was forced to work for five or six months without any food. I slept on top of the tree without anything besides the clothing on my body and without any food. I could just eat whatever I could find. 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 Sometimes I ate grass, and sometimes I crawl into a rice field and ate the rice grains there. And because I was afraid that people would see me, I would eat sand as well. It was extremely difficult, and I could not put it in words. C'était indicible. I was later sent to a sector 105 that is a tram car district in Trapeang Thom Kang Chung. That was also the miserable period again as I was in the mobile unit and I had to water five beds of a vegetable. It was a very long bed and I had to carry the water from the pond to water those five beds of vegetable. 
in order to get the water from the pond. Donc, je devais arroser des légumes et donc je devais transporter de l'eau depuis des temps jusqu'aux légumes. Et, down, et il y avait un tronc d'arbre sur lequel je devais slippery. marcher qui était un tronc d'arbre très glissant. My best and by the end of each day, fait de mon mieux. I was relieved that I could uh, et à la fin de la journée, j'étais soulagé d'avoir pu and le faire. Mais un jour, j'ai glissé, je suis tombé dans les temps. Ils ne me l'ont pas reproché, mais ils m'ont dit de continuer de travailler. J'avais une fièvre, j'étais épuisé, je n'avais rien à manger, mais j'avais très faim. j'ai décidé d'orange. There was an orange tree near where I water the vegetable. J'ai vu un orange près de là où j'ai fini eating it. J'arrosais les légumes et après que j'ai fini de manger l'orange. As I did not throw away the outer skin and I was spotted by my unit chief. Mon chef d'unité m'a vu. And he, the 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 person smelled my mouth and smelled the the orange and asked me whether I picked the orange. Il a vu que j'avais senti l'orange et il m'a demandé si j'avais cueilli l'orange ou si je l'avais mangé. But the word was not pleasant, and I said that I did not pick any orange or ate it. The person did not believe it and used the the scarf to wrap around my neck and suffocated me. Autour de mon cou, il m'a suffoqué, m'a étranglé avec son cramin. I My tongue almost uh, stuck out. Au point tel que ma langue a failli speak. était presque I was suffocating. sortie, je n'arrivais pas à parler, je suffoquais, j'ai pleuré. I told them, told the person the truth et j'ai finalement dit la vérité. In fact, picked a lemon, not an orange, for the interpreter. Un citron, non pas une orange. Oui, je ne sais pas où je l'interprète. Et il m'a étranglé à nouveau, mais je suis le plus riche personne. And asked the person to stop mistreating me. Because I was hungry, that's why I stole that lemon. I was then released and warned that I could not pick any lemon anymore. Je n'ai plus le droit de cueillir des citrons. So I went to continue working by watering the table, the, the vegetable again. Je suis retourné à arroser les légumes. I faced extreme difficulties during that three year, eight month and 20 day regime. As we were ces in the children's genre, unit, but we worked as hard as nuitées. the adult. And we travailler were not given sufficient food. Nous pas assez we were given a ladle of gruel, sometimes mixed with de riz qui corn parfois or potato. De la pomme de terre ou du maïs. And I never used to eat This kind of food, but I had to do it. It was out of hunger, and at night I had to sleep alone. Sometimes I had to sleep on the dining table, on the ground, on pantry. We did not have any soap for washing ourselves. There was no clean water. Sometimes we had food to eat. Sometimes we were deprived of food. Sometimes we had food to eat. Sometimes we were deprived of food. My, I developed a skin rash everywhere, all over my body. My feet were swollen. I could hardly walk. So I had to use a scarf to tighten it to lift it up to support me so that I could walk. J'ai dû utiliser une écharpe pour me lever et marcher. I also had a numb, and at night time when I was sleeping by myself. I kept weeping. Et la nuit, je dormais seul, et je, je et je pleurais. I because if I went to my house, I would not meet my parents there, as they were not there. They were transferred to separate cooperatives, including my elder sister. 
So I decided to remain in the children's unit and to face those difficulties. De rester dans l'unité pour enfants et de faire face à ces difficultés. I was beaten up. I was not given food. On I slept battu. without a mat or, or a mosquito net. I did not have any other spare clothing besides the clothes on my body. And I had lice all over my skin and body. At night time, sometimes we had to attend the criticism and self criticism meetings, and I did not know soir, what it was about. I et de quoi just talk tournait. about this or that because they said I had to stand and criticize somebody, otherwise I would be criticized. Me lever et critiquer quelqu'un, sinon yes, on me critiquerait moi. mistakes that I, I, I had, for example, I could be a bit slow in fulfilling my workload for the day. And I was pretty young, but um, I et just kept criticizing this person or that person, and in the turn, I was criticized. And sometimes I was wrong in my criticism, and I was beaten up for that. And that was extremely unpleasant as I was criticized despite my effort in achieving the, the workload that I was given. Que fait pour pour and sometimes les, even if I was sick, I had to work. Et je devais travailler même quand j'étais malade. And by 1979, I became happy because I knew that I survived. But unfortunately, my eyes became useless as I was Mais completely blind and later on I was abandoned by my husband and I could not earn a living as ordinary people. And that's the ordinary. challenge that I have to have to bear with me for the Et rest of my life. Merci, Madame Seng, d'avoir partagé Thank you, Madame Seng, cette expérience avec, sharing avec nous et les souffrances que vous avez endurées. Well Je voudrais endured. simplement vous poser quelques questions supplémentaires I wish to sur put a few ce qui vous est arrivé dans ces, dans ces coopératives. On what happened to you in that cooperative. Vous étiez toute petite à l'époque, vous nous avez dit que you vous aviez 11 ans time, et que les enfants 11, comme vous étaient obligés de travailler aussi dur que les adultes. Children, age, et vous avez déclaré dans, dans vos déclarations écrites avoir été obligé de travailler avec des excréments. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer ce qu'on vous a demandé de faire à l'époque et ce que ça vous Can a fait you I was forced to work with the human waste and the animal excrement and to carry them and store them in a shed. And sometimes I was uh, asked to collect cow dung from the rice fields and I had to collect 80 kilograms per day recueillir 80 kg par jour. Et pour the pig excrements, then I would be monitored by the unit chief. Quand je récupérais du pur de porc, c'est le chef d'unité qui me surveillait. Je devais donc a deep récupérer le purin scared. dans des fosses. And it was a voice deep. C'est and at night time I could not sleep that well because of the rust on my skin. Très profond et des éruptions cutanées and when we were given food, for example a piece of a potato, 
I would not be allowed to get out of the pit. And I would be standing in the pit and get the potato and ate it. And I would be standing in the pit and get the potato and ate it. Hi Chin at all. I was eating my food while I was in the ice cream and the pit. My whole body was stung, but I could not do anything or protest. Mais je ne pouvais protester. And I had to force myself to work so that I would not be blamed. Et je me suis, je me suis forcé de travailler pour éviter que l'on me critique. Est-ce qu'on vous a donné du, du savon à l'époque pour vous laver? Were you given soap at the time to wash yourself with? No, there was no soap at no. the time. No, il n'y avait pas de savon. There was no soap to, to wash my body or my hair. Je n'avais pas de savon pour me laver le corps ou les cheveux. And we did not have any spare clothes. We Et only have the, pas de de the clothes on nous n'avions que les vêtements we que nous portions sur le dos. Upon taking the fertilizer to the shed, then I would Donc, go to the pond to wash myself there, and then I would come out of the pond to stand and, to to stand and dry myself under the sun. Me sécher au soleil. Vous nous avez dit qu'on vous obligeait à travailler lorsque vous étiez malade, que vous aviez de la fièvre. Est-ce que vous vous donnez des médicaments pour vous soigner? When you had fever, were you given any medicines? When you are sick. Cha, a pede, a mien chim gui kron kanao, do chi chu kpa l. When I had a fever, headache. Quand j'avais la fièvre. I was not given any medicine. Je n'ai pas reçu de médicament. We would not be even allowed to to rest when we were sick. Nous n'avions même pas le droit de nous reposer lorsque nous étions malades. And in fact, we did not dare tell them that we were sick. Nous n'avions même pas le droit de nous dire que nous étions malades. If we were sick, we would not be given any medicine for the treatment. Nous on était malades, nous ne recevions aucun médicament. Merci, Madame Seng. Thank you, Mrs. Seng. On va maintenant parler du du décès de votre petite sœur. I would like us to now talk about the death of your younger sister. You explained in your written statement that she died for lack of medicines. Can you explain to the court what all that was all about? My younger sister had a fever and she got the rust on her body. There was uh, no medicine for her treatment and nobody who would take care of her. She became emaciated and she was left unattended in a hammock and she was left in a hammock and there was no food for her not even a watery gruel, and her condition became worse. And later on, my mother took her to the hospital in the hope that there would be medicine for her. But unfortunately, there was no medicine given to her. And unfortunately, my younger sister died. And unfortunately, my younger sister died. Merci, Madame Seng. Thank you, Mrs. Seng. Perte de vos yeux. Apart from losing your sight, do you suffer from any other illnesses that you may have experienced at the time? Do you suffer from any other illnesses as a result of the events? Currently, I have a problem. I have to hear. It was the result from my blindness, and it became sensitive. And sometimes I find I have difficulty breathing. I have difficulty. It may arrive to have difficulty to respire. I've lost my sensation. I find it difficult to survive and to live when I became blind. 
après Sometimes ma cécité. I to kill myself Il m'est arrivé de vouloir me suicider. But bon. my elder sister and my mother advised me not to think that way and that I should continue ça. living in et order to raise my children. Currently, I have no ability to go for medical treatment or to buy Je any medicine for the treatment. De, de me faire traiter, d'obtenir des médicaments. There have been several symptoms uh, happening with me. At night time, I have nightmares. Il y a plusieurs and symptoms. La nuit, j'ai des cauchemars. Trembles when mon corps there is a, a loud noise, and sometimes I become soft-tempered, and that I have to hit my children or one of my children. Et j'ai frappé mon enfant. <coughs> President, thank you. Le président. Council and thank you, civil merci party. Maître, we will take a 15-minute break and we shall resume Et at 5 past 3 so that we can continue the proceeding. Court officer, could you assist this civil party and the TPO staff during the break? Monsieur l'audience, veuillez. Uh, and have them return to the courtroom at five past three. L'employé de TPO et de vous assurer qu'elle soit de retour à 15h05. Sub-culture.